balancing equations. For the equation, nitrogen plus hydrogen produces ammonia. We want to balance each side of the equation. Note that nitrogen and hydrogen are both diatomic elements, and that's why it's N2 and H2. The first thing you would like to do is do an atom inventory of the reactants. For the reactants, there are nitrogen and hydrogen atoms, two nitrogen and two hydrogen. We then do an atom inventory of the products. In ammonia, we have one nitrogen and three hydrogen. Looking at this equation now, we understand that the hydrogens are not balanced. The nitrogens are not balanced. Let's start by balancing the, the hydrogens. Two and three have a common multiple at six. If we change the coefficient of ammonia to two, this gives us six hydrogen and two nitrogen. In order to balance this, we change the coefficient in front of the hydrogen to three, making six hydrogen. And now we have a balanced chemical equation, nitrogen two, hydrogen six on the reactant side and nitrogen 2 and hydrogen 6 on the product side. Let's look at another example. When antimony combines with chlorine to make antimony chloride, Sb plus Cl2 yields SbCl3. We again start by creating an atom inventory of the reactants. Antimony has one atom. Chlorine has two atoms. On the product side, Antimony has one atom, and chlorine has three atoms. Again, we see that chlorine 2 and chlorine 3 have common multiple at 6. If we change the antimony chloride to a coefficient of 2, this changes chlorine to 6 and antimony to 2. We can then put a 3 as the coefficient in front of chlorine, giving us six chlorine atoms, and a 2 in front of the antimony, giving it two antimony atoms. Now we have two antimony, six chlorine on the reactant side, and two antimony and six chlorine on the product side. The balanced chemical equation is two Sb plus three Cl2 yields two SbCl3. Our last example is aluminum bromide, AlBr3, plus potassium sulfate, K2SO4, yields potassium bromide, KBr, plus aluminum sulfate, Al2SO43. Start again by giving the atom inventory. Note that I have created the atom inventory with aluminum, bromine, potassium, and I have kept the sulfate as SO4 since I see that the sulfate appears on both sides of the equation. This will make it a little easier in balancing when I see that the polyatomic sulfate appears on both sides. So the atom inventory for the products will be the exact same. Note too that I try to keep the order of the inventory in the same order. The aluminum, the bromine, potassium, then sulfate on both sides. This allows me to see where the imbalances are when I try to balance the equation. Aluminum, one. Bromine, three. Potassium, two sulfate 1. On the product side, aluminum has 2, bromine has 1, potassium has 1, and sulfate has 3. I'm going to start by balancing the sulfates. I'm going to put a coefficient of 3 in front of the potassium sulfate. This changes the amount of potassium to 6 and the amount of sulfate to 3. Now I'm going to balance the potassium by placing a 6 in front of the KBr. This gives us now 6 potassium and 6 bromine. To now balance the bromine, I'm going to put a 2 in front of the AlBl3. This changes the amount to 6 bromine and 2 aluminum. Now I have a balanced chemical equation of 2 aluminums, 6 bromines, 6 potassium, and three sulfates on both sides of the equation.